Hello and welcome back to POS Advisor's tutorial series for Encore POS. Today I'll be showing you how to create an inventory valuation report. This gives you an opportunity to use historical information archived by Liquor POS to show you three different types of inventory valuations. LIFO, last in, first out, FIFO, first in, first out, and Liquor POS's very own average cost. If you'd like to familiarize yourself with any of these terms, there will be links in the description of this video to useful resources. There are two ways to run the report. First, you can use the archive files Liquor POS creates automatically at the beginning of every month. This way you can create a report on your inventory position from a specific point of time since you began using Liquor POS. The second method is to use the inventory snapshot utility in Encore POS to create a file using your current inventory position. The perfect time to do this is upon completion of a full physical inventory, as it means that you'll always be able to go back and run a report against those numbers. I'll go over this method first. Starting from the Encore POS login screen, log on to the Encore POS dashboard. Click the Utilities tab, scroll over the Inventory tile, and click on the Archive Inventory Snapshot Utility. Click OK to create a snapshot. Dismiss the pop-up by clicking OK, and click on the Reports tab. Scroll over the Inventory tile, and click the Inventory Valuation Report. Once you land on the screen, you can choose which files you'd like to use for the report by using these drop-down menus. Archive files are the ones created automatically by Liquor POS, and snapshot files are manually created in the process I just showed you in Encore POS. When you're ready, click Submit to run the report. If you run the report with differing dates, these two columns here, Cost and Extended, or EXT, reflect your inventory's valuation based on your ending costs for the FIFO method. The last two columns here, Start Cost and Extended, reflect your inventory's starting costs for the LIFO method. You'll notice that if the start date and the end date are the same, these two pairs of columns will be identical. This is your average cost. As with other reports in Encore POS, you can use the page options at the bottom of the table and the search bar to find specific items. Type totals into the search bar to view valuations by department instead of by item. If you'd like to use the table for bookkeeping purposes, click here to export it to an Excel file or click here to send it directly to a printer. Click the X at the top here to return to the reports tab. That's it for this video today. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with the latest and greatest from POS Advisors. We'll have our website link and our support number all in the description down below, so don't hesitate to call us if you need us. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.